It's hot living week to week. Basically, I got the idea for the show um, from being quietly desperate uh, living in Alston. You know, it's a Thoreau quote, and um, I'm one of 10 billion creative types in this day and age that want to do something creatively for a living. So I notice a lot of artists living lives of quiet desperation, so I thought, what better for an idea for a show, but, uh, you know, doing something that was about being quietly desperate. I started doing the... Um, a uh, web series about a year and a half ago and uh, incorporated a lot of my uh, close friends. You know, we worked together to make a show that was unique to our, you know, environment, our time and who we were. Moving to a TV format, we're very excited because, you know, when you're on the internet, you're susceptible to people having short attention spans. They're watching clips while they're doing Facebook, while they're talking to people on chats and stuff. TV, we're expecting people to sit down, maybe have some snacks, watch it on a bigger screen. And, you know, we want to make the storylines more compelling, uh, really get people into what's really going on. You know, and it's basically struggling, you know. There's not many opportunities. There's 10 billion bands fighting for three clubs in Greater Boston. Radio stations won't play anything besides uh, Sunday nights at like 12 at midnight. Uh, the Boston press seems to be obsessed with the Dropkick Murphys, Tom Brady, Pink Hats, and Aerosmith. And there's not a lot of uh, ways to break out of here with the exception of maybe doing a Mattress Giant commercial or being on the Phantom Gourmets. What I'm trying to do with the show is create sort of a Saturday Night Live for Boston, you know. Um, uh, we lose a lot of creative types to New York and L.A., sort of like sports and stuff, because we don't have uh, mediums or outlets creatively for people to stay in the greater Boston area. You know? I'm sick and tired of Boston being a minor league town for artists. You know, I think a lot of people around here would prefer to be creative around here and maybe have Boston represented for something other than uh, bad Irish accent mafia movies, you know, seeing our comedy, seeing our music, seeing how we run, seeing how we roll. It can't be scripted. It happens in real life, unlike a lot of those reality shows you see. Um, we go on whatever's happening in my life every couple weeks and who's available to do the show. I mean, we, we don't have a lot of money to work with, so, you know, if I lose my job at work, it ends up on the TV show. If I um, am struggling, if I happen to be smoking weed and partying too much, that's going to be on the show. We're not some show in New York that has billions of dollars to spend on catering, you know, people showing up on time. We write the show, you know, pretty much like a football team would create a team for a game. We see who's injured, who's healthy, who's going to be available, what resources we have. And the best way to get these elements out of people is to get them comfortable, get them thinking like their kids again, get them believing any things possible and uh, you know I, that's the key to I think this show is just getting these you know people around me that I love as comfortable as possible and then uh, hitting them with the camera. Basically we fucking party, we get drunk, we get stoned and we get these people comfortable, we get these people having fun and we have a very relaxed crew shooting them and we just try to get them you know I mean we're all kids at heart and you know if you get somebody comfortable you get them being relaxed you get some really wonderful uh, creative juices flowing out of them. I, I, I sort of of sometimes consider the show sort of a mental fight club and the fact that if you can shit on yourself, if you can uh, bring out some skeletons in your closet, look at them, laugh at them, and uh, you know, realize that you know it's as big as you want to make it. The more we've turned out of the show and people have seen it, the more that when we do continue to shoot it and people know what we're trying to do, they become more real in front of the camera and they're not afraid to show us, you know, what their boo-boos and scars are and show themselves uh, in a light that they have not shown in public before and um, you get some very endearing things out of that so that's probably my favorite parts of the show. Besides that I like when uh, Big Nez talks about sucking and fucking on Revere Beach. I mean, that's the thing about TV this day and age, you know, everything's scripted, everything's planned, you're watching a bunch of things on TV that isn't happening in real time, it's a bunch of actors getting together and acting, and, and I don't think that's fucking fun, man. I think that television should be more like sports in terms of things happening in the moment. Getting as far behind the looking glass as possible, meaning making it a legit reality TV show, which you don't know really what to take at face value. You get behind the looking glass, but just enough that, hey, you know what? You might be, if you believe it, you might be part of the joke. Many years from now.